Hey guys, what's going on? For it's Talk Forest TV. Obviously, I'm back again with the TFTV news. It's a little bit later than it has normally has been past couple of days. Um, a lot has been going off at City Ground um, today with transfer news. Obviously, if you can see the video footage, it is a lot more different. I've got a new tablet now, so hopefully things will be a lot more clear and a lot more much better obviously a lot came out today actually about um transfer news regarding two of the targets that we went after in the summer um frederick Sarro, josh mcginn obviously want to cover it get you guys up to date with it um it's just weird how both of them came on the same day um josh mcginn i don't start with that one um neil lennon the hibernian manager i know a lot he's not a big fan by a lot of you guys. Um, yeah, so that they will be powerless to actually keep hold of him to actually stay at the club. Um, is expecting him to leave. Obviously, the board are one holding that five million pound, unfortunately. But hopefully, folks can actually put all that down to a reasonable price. I know Warburton isn't wanting to actually pay that much out for young midfielder. Obviously, he understands the market and he's not wanting to actually spend that much money on midfielder if only if he's going to be a squad player slash first team players and that a lot of players that we have we have not had a good summer transfer in the window we have we've got to understand that and I think with Josh McGinn yeah probably is worth a lot is probably a player for the future and probably the Scottish national side but obviously Mark Walton isn't wanting to spend that much on a player who yeah, probably will be needing to adapt to the English League a lot more and probably will need time, but he probably will be more of a swap player and probably will be playing a lot of third team football as well and probably is like a long term replacement for the likes of current and for double player that I spoke about is Frederick Sarrows, the um goalkeeper from Broadway. I spoke in the in the interview in the um local newspaper um he yeah, said so that did snub the offers in all the spawn for and crystal Palace just because he wanted to focus on first team football obviously he isn't wanting to actually go on that play so he had his time that bonded to actually get football and he said that he might not even want to be considered leaving just yet but obviously it is quite interesting and that he wants to step up in um see on football obviously it will be a bit of an option for us and crystal palace obviously mark warburton been wanting something that goalkeeping area for quite some time now so we will be waiting to see on that thank you for watching talk for us tv please like share come subscribe to the channel i'd like to say thank you and goodbye